Hi, I'm Rob. I'm Andrew, and we're Greyer. I'm 28, and he's 31, and this is our life. Two Queensland brothers walked in, they saw potential, and they have transformed it into this. Rob and Andrew Gray from Greyer Construction join us now from what they've called the Water Tower House in Brisbane. Good morning, fellas. Rob and his brother Andrew. Well, how are you going? Because you've done this before, this is the second water house that you've done up. This property was open for inspection when we first spoke to its builder, but then it sold within the day. Rob Gray from Greyer Constructions was responsible for the incredible transformation of 8 McNabb Street. Yeah, we managed to get the second highest um, sale on that side block in the suburb history. And Andrew and Rob Gray are the brothers behind Greyer Construction, which is a builder developer company putting its mark on the Queensland property scene. Let me see this uh, property, the newest project. 23 so the first project we ever did together we picked up for about 500,000. We spent about $200,000 on the renovation and we flipped it for a profit. And this is what it's turned into. When I finished high school, I started a carpentry apprenticeship with the desire of being a high-end builder developer. And I went straight to university and studied quantity surveying. Six years ago, I finished that apprenticeship and a year later, I started a building company called Greyer Construction. And I've been working as a quantity surveyor ever since I finished school. Two years after I started Greyer Construction, we started another company called Greyer Developments and we joined our forces to do so. And now we flip high-end homes in Brisbane. from South Africa and our parents immigrated to Australia about 30 years ago. Um, they moved straight to Brisbane and that's where we were both born. So we went to our, our local state school, both went to Brookfield State School. Um, our high school years we went to Ipswich Grammar School. Um, in school I wasn't a huge fan of doing schoolwork, I wasn't the smartest tool in the shed. Andrew um, had a little bit more skills in that area. So I was always going to go to university and do something further with my education, but Rob couldn't even really show up to an exam. So he actually went to a private <laughs> school, spent all the money on schooling and didn't show up to any exams. Thanks so. Mum and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well funded. Yeah, like I always had a dream of being a builder so um, and a developer, so to, you didn't need any sort of uni degree to do that. Um, so I always knew being a carpenter was the best stepping stone. Um, and Andrew um, you know, had a bit of wits about him, so he followed the university degree, which I guess led us back to the same path, which is always the plan. Andrew and I always lived together from a very early age, we moved out of home much to our parents' despair. Um, even up until the point where I recently got married to my wife Megan, um, Andrew, somehow I conned Andrew into coming to live with us, much to her despair as well. Yeah, I managed to live with them, I think it was nearly two years while they were married. Um, I thought it was a great setup because Megan cooked for me every night, she looked after the house. And it was uh, all around great for me, but um, there's only so much she could take and eventually she won the battle and I was kicked out. I keep telling her, telling him that it was Megan, but it was really me who wanted him out. <laughs> After we kicked Andrew out, Megan and I bought a cottage in Paddington that we moved into that we are currently renovating that we're going to show you on a later episode of Greyer TV. And I'm also living in Paddington, a couple hundred metres down the road, so they didn't get rid of me for too long. And then in January we're going to kick off my renovation, we've got approval for it, it's going to be something pretty special that we'll also show you on Grey TV. So going through school I was pretty good with my grades, always did well, kept the parents happy, but Rob on the other hand always struggled. And that followed on to when he was an apprentice. So I've got a quick story for you about how he got his first nickname, Scruss. So not many people would know this story, but um, one day when Rob was on site, his 
As an apprentice. As an apprentice. First year apprentice or second year? Anyway, his supervisor wanted him to go down to Bunnings to pick up some supplies. So he read out a list of things Rob had to pick up and Rob was writing them down on a plank of wood with his pencil. And then when he got to Bunnings, he knew what they all were. He went and picked them all up. But there was one thing he couldn't work out what it was. So he went up to the person at the register and said, sorry, do you know what this is? And they looked at it and it was S-K-R-U-S, scrus. Like, what's scrus? So Rob picks up his phone and calls the supervisor and says, sorry, they don't have any scrus here. And the, the supervisor's like, what are you talking about? He's like, S-K-R-U-S. And he meant, I meant screws. And Rob's like, oh, screws? Oops, sorry. <laughs> that, 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 that did happen. And then for about three years, he was called scrus on that is That is half true. I definitely wrote scrus, but I definitely didn't go up to the register and call my boss and say, hey, mate, what did I write here? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds better that you did. <laughs> <laughs>